The streamside salamander is a type of mole salamander, so named because they mostly live underground. But during late fall and winter, these burrowers move into rocky, often fishless, headwater streams. Most of the time, these salamanders live underground and out of sight. But when they're in this stream, I can use an underwater camera to give you a closer look. There are many salamanders that live or breed in streams, but the streamside salamander is the oddball of its family because most other mole salamanders breed in pools or ponds. In fact, the streamside salamander actually has a doppelganger, a so-called sibling species, the smallmouth salamander. Identical in nearly every external way, these two species can be told apart only by their differing tooth structure and genetics. But while the smallmouth is a widespread wetland breeding salamander, its rarer stream breeding relative is only found in a small region centered around northern Kentucky. Streamsides prefer to breed in the uppermost reaches of streams where predatory fish are rare. These streams sometimes flood and nearly always have swift currents, so the salamanders firmly attach each egg to the underside of flat rocks, roots, or logs. With so many eggs and so few predators around, the female doesn't really have to guard her eggs. So as mysteriously as they appeared, the adult streamside salamanders soon leave the stream and vanish back into burrows in the surrounding hills. In just a few weeks, the larvae begin to hatch and populate the stream bed. These tiny, gilled salamanders must find enough invertebrate prey to grow quickly. Many of these streams will be dry by late summer, so they must resorb their gills and metamorphose before then. With a little luck, these tiny salamanders will be returning to their birthplace in just a few short years to carry on the cycle. <laughs>